you're watching this, you probably already know that YouTube has been heavily pushing shorts to the market. They're everywhere. Right now, the algorithm for shorts is optimized to get you views quick, and with the recent launch of the shorts ad revenue sharing program, there's really no better time to have some skin in the game. It gets better. You actually don't even need to create your own content to get millions of views, and today I'm going to share with you an actionable, step-by-step -step plan you can use to recycle content that is already viral. With my experience in Fortune 500 brand marketing, I'll go through my research process, editing theory, optimization tactics, and then we'll sit back, analyze the video we created together, and go through some pretty insane numbers. thing I want to do is lay out an actionable game plan. Step one is market research. We're going to spend 30 minutes to one hour in a self-induced internet wormhole to figure out what content is popular right now. And from that research, we're going to come up with three different video ideas to get the juices flowing. After that, we're going to spend a little bit of time sourcing the original content we want to use. Then we'll throw it into a blender with some of our own secret sauce so that it complies with YouTube's guidelines for original content. This will help us get monetized later and do some light keyword research to optimize our video in Google and YouTube searches. Then we'll monetize with the help of YouTube's new Shorts Partner Program and Affiliate Marketing. Then just rinse and repeat. Let's get started with step one and figure out what people are watching today. I spent a little bit of time scrolling through Shorts and found that interviews with really influential people were getting millions of hits. I came across this page called Peaky that has 107,000 subscribers and 200 Wait, 224 million views. I mean, this guy's literally just taking a viral interview that took someone else days to produce, cut it up to make it a little bit more original, and just reposted it. Get to filming. Screw it. Let's just do that. All right, we've got a format. Now let's come up with some topic-specific video ideas. For this, I'm going to head over to Google Trends to see what people are looking for right now in the way of podcasts. You could also just peruse YouTube. Alright, the first thing I see here is Full Send. I know this is a popular podcast. I also see Nelk is potentially breaking out in search terms, so this might be a good starting point. A very quick search on Google gave me proof of concept. I see a bunch of clips from Full Send getting millions of hits, so let's roll with this. But real quick, I'm just going to scroll through here and see what other podcasts are trending. I see Back to the Beach podcast, Soul to Story podcast, Teachers Off Duty, a lot of things that we could use here in the future. But let's stick with Full Send for now. So I'm going to head over to their podcast page and see which interview recently went pretty viral. This Aiden Voss one seems to be doing pretty well. So for our first video, let's try to find an interesting clip from this interview. But people are so dumb, they actually like think Believe that's it. serious. It's crazy. Obviously, it's one and a half hours long, and it wouldn't be efficient at all to listen to the entire thing to find an interesting tidbit. Let's look for a shortcut here. Um, you'll typically find that producers of podcasts will do the dirty work for you and trim up the interesting parts of the interview and upload them separately as snippets. So back to YouTube search here, we're just gonna type in full send Aiden Ross and see what comes up. And right away, I'm seeing an entire YouTube page dedicated to cut down clips of these interviews on full send. So within this YouTube page, we're gonna search for Aiden Ross to find our specific interview. And right here, you see three six-minute clips of interesting stories told within that hour and a half. Now we don't really have to go hunting through the whole thing. Let's check this one out here. It sounds interesting, and it has the most views that I see on this page so far. And then we're about to walk outside, and the guy with the backpack is right behind us, and he starts reaching in his bag like this. But Ant and Will already had their guns out. They were literally on it. Cool. I definitely think there's some potential here. The headline is interesting. There's an element of danger here. So yeah, I think this could potentially get some clicks. So the clip is about three minutes long, but it really doesn't have to be. We want to trim it down to under a minute. Let's bring it into a video editor and chop it up a little bit. First, we're going to rip the video using Clip Converter. I'll link that in the description. Cool. And uh, at this point, you can use your video editor of choice, but if you don't have Final Cut or Premiere, then a good free web-based video editor like Vida.io or CapCut will work perfectly fine. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Vida. We'll get our clip loaded in here. And what's cool about Veed is that there are pre-made templates here depending on what kind of content you're making. So for our purposes, we'll click YouTube Shorts and it'll automatically crop our video to the correct size. The first thing you should do is go through and just chop out any useless fluff or air. Any parts of the video that don't directly move the story forward has to go. 
Do we have anything in New York? No. Miami. Yeah, we had something happen in Miami. A couple times, actually. So in Miami, I was at a wing stop. Here, for example, we don't need any of that in the beginning as he's fumbling through his words, figuring out where to start the story. So let's get rid of all that. So we'll take our cursor over to the beginning, click and drag to the right just to remove all of that. So in Miami, I was at a wing stop and it was in a really bad neighborhood. Cool, so that's a perfect sound bite right there to get the story started. So I'm gonna separate it from the rest of this big clip by hitting the split button here. I'm gonna move that off to the side. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for the rest of the video, separating out certain sound bites that move the story forward and just placing them off to the side. Might look a little tedious, but I promise you with some practice, you'll become very efficient at it. I would say this took me five minutes to go through and do this whole thing. This is where you're going to be taking a little bit of creative action on your own, which is how you're going to avoid blatantly plagiarizing someone else's work and getting copyright strikes. And you'll also have a better chance of getting monetized by YouTube. Alright, for our first pass, I think this is pretty good. We took this three minute clip down and condensed it into about 46 seconds. Let's have a look and see if the story is still being conveyed in an interesting way. So in Miami, I was at a wing stop and it was in a really bad neighborhood. And then a guy walks in who appears to be homeless, but he's not homeless. He has like brand new Jordans on. And he said, hey, can I get a water cup? And walked outside. He's basically scouting, probably like a scout. Then a couple minutes later, a guy came with a backpack who was picking up an order. So we're about to walk outside. And the guy with the backpack is right behind us. And he starts reaching in his bag like this. But Ant and Will already had their guns out. They were, they were already on it. They're on their shit. So they already had their guns out. The guy quickly saw it and just fucking like dipped. Fucking. The guy was about to rob you. Yeah, bro. And and honestly, he didn't have a mask or anything on. You're not wearing a mask, man. You you know they they might they might kill me. You know, like literally in that situation. So there's been other incidents, but I really realized that I needed security at that point. Cool. I think that totally works, and it's definitely interesting enough for people to watch. Next set, this is optional, but I'm personally going to spend a little bit of time playing with different crop modes here. Cool. And through my market research, our first step, I noticed that the shorts that have engaging captions perform the best. So the awesome thing about Veed is that it'll auto-generate captions based on your video with just a click of the button. So let's do it and see how it works. So in Miami, I was at a wing stop and it was in a really bad neighborhood. And a guy walks in who appears to be homeless, but he's not homeless. Cool. So I'd say it did about a 90% solid job. I'll just go in here and manually correct its mistakes. Sweet. And then inside the app here, we can then play around with the font style. I think I'm liking the color yellow for this. And looking through the fonts here, I think this one suits our tone. And then you can actually go in and play with the animation of the text, which is pretty awesome. There are a few options here. So in Miami, I was at a wing stop. Just choose one that you like or the one that you found worked best during your market research phase. Finally, built inside of Veed, there are some elements that you can throw in your video. I don't really tend to go too crazy with these, but I do like the idea of having this progress bar here. I use this a lot in my other shorts and find that my retention rates are actually much higher when I include this. I guess people just want to be assured that they aren't going to be sitting there for an eternity waiting for the conclusion of the story, so that's a little trick. Cool, I think this is super solid for our first video. Let's go ahead and export it using the standard settings for now. Advanced high quality exporting is reserved for paid customers here, but we're just rocking with the free version for now. If in the future we find some product market fit and feel like we can benefit from the paid features, we can always upgrade later, there's no rush. Cool, let's move to upload this video to our channel. I've actually already created one. The steps of creating a channel are outside the scope of this video, but there are plenty of other resources on YouTube for this kind of thing. All right, we're ready to optimize now, and this is pretty important. What you title your video, what you put in the description, the tags that you use all have a factor in how many people end up seeing your video. So for this kind of work, I personally like to use a keyword researcher like TubeBuddy or vidIQ. There are free versions of both, and again, I suggest just starting with those free versions just to see what suits you best. If you already kick ass at SEO, then you might not even need these tools at all. I, in fact, do not kick ass at SEO, so I'm going to go ahead and use vidIQ. I typed in Aiden Ross in the search bar, and from here I see a couple relevant keywords that are hitting better than others, like Aiden Ross Bodyguard, for example. Let's definitely try to use that phrasing in our title to hopefully catch some of this traffic. Alright, for our title, let's do something like uh, Aiden Ross's Bodyguard Pulls Gun at Wingstop. Up the drama a little bit here by capitalizing gun. 
And then I noticed that some shorts used emojis. They seem to perform pretty well. So I'm gonna head over to this emoji page, just straight up copy maybe uh, the, these eyeballs here and just add hashtag shorts just to let YouTube know to categorize it as a short. And for our description, we'll just write a little something here, optimize it using Nelk, Full Send Podcast, Aiden Ross, the big keywords. And personally, I feel a little bit more comfortable giving credit to the original creator, so I'm gonna add that there. Add some of the other tags I saw in our keyword research. And boom, I think we're ready to upload. And just like that, we started a YouTube channel. Our first video is always the hardest one to put out. But once you get over that hurdle, it's a lot easier to keep going. So my advice is to just put something up, even if it's not totally perfect, so that you can build momentum to keep it growing. Alright, just a quick little update here. It's been about a day and a half or so, and we've got almost a thousand views, which is not too bad, considering this is a brand new channel. Typically, when you make more content, your views will go up because you'll be more embedded in the algorithm. So honestly, I'm pretty happy with the start. I could realistically crank about five of these out an hour or so. So, you know, listen after work or on your lunch break, crank out five of these a day, even if you don't get more views than a thousand per video, which is not going to happen. You will get more views the more you post. I'm just being really conservative here. That's still 5,000 a day and 35,000 per week. I can think of worse ways to spend an hour or two of your time. One other really quick thing I wanted to point out under analytics, you see YouTube search terms here. The highest search term that popped our video up was in fact Aiden Ross Bodyguard, that keyword that we found using vidIQ. All right, you may have noticed I didn't touch on monetization much, so let's talk about that really quick. With this model, I see two ways of monetizing an audience. The first is by taking part in YouTube's Shorts program, which is an ad revenue split similar to what long form YouTubers are using now. It works by taking all the money generated by Shorts creators and putting that into a pool and gives you a percent of that pool relative to the number of views you have. Next, and typically more profitable than AdSense if done correctly, is affiliate marketing. I can do an entire video on this topic alone, but the basic premise is that once you get enough eyeballs, you can push products to your audience and receive commissions on the sales that you generate. Affiliate marketing comes in many shapes and forms, but the one that I found most effective is to actually become an affiliate partner under Amazon's influencer program. Now, you will need subscribers and views for this since you have to apply to be granted, but once you're in, it can be a gold mine because Amazon is the most trusted marketplace in the world, and you can get a piece of that just by including links to already existing listings on Amazon in your description. That being said, if you're just starting out, you're not out of luck. Sites like ClickBank and Digistore24 offer a similar deal and you don't need proof of a following. It just doesn't obviously have the same brand recognition as Amazon. Let's say for example you do what this guy does and repost funny animal content. Well in the description of your video you can include a link to this digital dog training course with an average conversion of $44.89. The site will generate a unique link for you to paste in your description or push in some other way and any sales generated from that link you'll get a kickback for. So I'd copy this link, shorten the URL up with something like bit.ly, and just an example description here, I'd probably do something like this, and just let it ride. It doesn't really get more passive than that. And you know what, let's just do some quick math here just to see what's possible. So what's considered an average conversion rate for affiliate marketing is somewhere between 0.5 and 1%. Now let's be extra conservative here and say your conversion rate is five times worse than the lower part of this range at 0.1%. So that'd be 0.001 multiplied by the number of views. This account has received 144 million views over its lifetime. Again, let's go really conservative and say you got 75% less views than that. So 36 million views. That comes out to 36,000 conversions. 36,000 conversions multiplied by the average kickback for this digital product, 44.89, would leave you at $1.6 million in sales. Now, you definitely have to put in the work, but again, these are the conservative numbers. Pretty damn good, I'd say, just for copy and pasting content. Another thing you can take advantage of once you get enough subs is the community tab of your channel. Our guy Peaky, for example, puts up quizzes that get insane amounts of engagement. In these community posts, you can also link to your affiliate products, or you can start building an email list. Once you have fans, the ways to monetize them are endless. Focus now on just building your audience as quickly as possible and the money will come. Luckily Shorts, at this moment in time anyway, is making this easier than ever.
100% of the people who even made it to the end of this video are still not going to do anything about it. My challenge to you is to be a part of the 1% that actually takes action. Start small. Start by just creating your YouTube page today. You don't even need a logo or anything. Just literally create the account. Then take the easy, actionable steps I've outlined in this video. Hell, even copy what I did cut by cut just to get started, which is the hardest part. The most you'll lose is a little bit of time, but the potential ceiling is limitless. So just stack up and start today. If you do go through with this, and I really hope that you do, drop a link to your new YouTube page down in the comments. I'll follow it on every one of my accounts, and I'll encourage the community here to do the same. If this isn't quite your speed, but you're still looking for ways to make money online, feel free to like and subscribe. I've got plenty more ideas coming. Take it easy and good luck out there.